Hey family, it is Franklin here from Songs by Frank, back with another video. Last time I spoke about cryptocurrency and how you as an artist can use that to your advantage. But I'm back with another video and today I'm going to talk about three marketing strategies I've never seen before, at least not that much, which can help you to grow and cut through the noise of these, all these rappers in the world. It is time for you to make the difference and I know you can do it. Let's dive into it. Before we start, let me tell you a story. So, why are most rappers failing? Well, I found out that 25% of all rappers doesn't even know a thing about marketing. Another 25% does know a thing about marketing, but they are just not using it. Another 25% is using marketing but they give up in the long run. Another 24%, they're using marketing maybe for a year, but they think, this is not working, I'm giving up. And that last 1% of rappers, they are using marketing, they are not giving up, and they are finding new ways to stand out of the box, because that is what you need to do. You need to stand out with your marketing and your music and your video clips to be that 1% who earns millions a month a year as millions of streams and everything like that. So in this video I'm going to help you get one step closer to that 1% we are aiming for. Let's go! YouTube reacting marketing. It sounds weird. I know it. Why? Because I totally made it up. But there is a solid strategy behind that name because YouTube reacting marketing is a form of marketing where you will ask people, influencers, to review your song on YouTube. And you might think, why the hell should I do that? It's a waste of my time and money. No, think like it of this, something like that. I'm from the Netherlands. You are going to ask them if they want to make a review about your song. They usually are reviewing big songs like 6 9 Meek Mill, everything like that. But then suddenly your song pops up on their channel. Their fan subscribers email list will see your song and they might like you, they might not like you or they become fans and you want fans, fans which will buy merchandise from you and that is what we want. So will this cost money? Most likely, unless you have a big network with all kinds of YouTubers and they are all your friends, then it's free but this will most likely cost money. How much? I don't know. Some YouTubers ask $1000 for this, some YouTubers ask $500 for this. Just ask them, you can do this. I believe in you. To help you out, I made an entire email with some templates for you to send to these YouTubers because some of you have never written an email before and I want to make this work. I did it, you can do it too, we can do it together. Let's make this work. Chapter 2. Uncommon Instagram Marketing. You might ask yourself, Instagram marketing, I've heard from that, I've heard of that. Yes, you did, but I have a little twist here because I see so many ads on Instagram, visualizers, video clips with no call to action, with no, no meaning except you, you are not interacting with your fans, you are not telling something about you. But that's no problem at all, some people like to do that and spend their money that way. But I found another way to spend your money and it might help you a little bit better than those visualizers and video clips. So I thought about this, what, uh, let's, let's start over. Do you know or are you scrolling to Instagram sometimes, to Reels or just IGTV, anything? And if you have baking videos or trick shot videos, you will hear music in the background, right? Or wrestling videos, anything like that. Well. What if, imagine this, what if the background music is your music? And what if they add your music in their description to promote you? That's a great idea. My strategy is ask 100 people a day, maybe even more, every single day, to negotiate with them, ask them for their email, DM them, do anything you can, and ask them if they want to play your music under their videos. But there's a big but here. Because if you are swearing in your videos, they most likely are not going to use it. So this is not for everyone. If you like to say, then you cannot do this. But if you are a, a happy rapper, <laughs> I'd like to call them 
that way, then you can do this and you can really get a lot of attention on Instagram and on TikTok because my, they might have a TikTok account too or they want to use your music under their YouTube videos. There is so much potential in this world and you just need to grab it. Just ask people, can you use my music under your videos? It is free, I will not copyright strike you or anything. Or you need to have a little bit of a budget for this. You can go to bigger channels, bigger names and ask them if you can pay to be under their videos. Because what you really want is that as many people see you and they might not even like you the first time but if they hear your music in 10, 15, 20 videos every day they think damn this is something, this is something big and that is marketing I'm never hearing, seeing right now only for pop songs and, and things like that but you can do it too as a rapper as a rap artist you can be under videos as background music and soon enough you will climb up to the top and you are not background music anymore you are deep music and that is what we want we can do this let's go to chapter three Oh, and not to forget, I added a complete DM strategy and email strategy for this project too, for Uncommon Instagram Marketing. So you might want to check that out. Also in the link, in the description, I made an entire package, just download it, it is free. Let's go to chapter three. Chapter three, collaborations. You might have heard this one before, I think you have heard this one many times, but I have a different strategy for this. Let me explain you something. If I make one beat every week, how many beats can people buy on my store? 52 in a year. But if I make two beats every week, if I make three beats, four beats, five beats, it's all about quantity. If you want, definitely go back. Quality is the most important thing, I strive for that. I'm working for 10 years on music now and quality is my main priority in life. But to become better, to improve your skill, to be the best one out, you have to make a lot of, of shit to finally get to that point where you own, can only make fire. Only make fire music. And that is what, where you want to be at a certain point in your life. So. Besides of that, my strategy is if you make 5 slash 10 songs every month with another artist who have at least 500 monthly listeners, you can reach a lot of people every month. You can reach 5,000 people, new people a week and 20,000 people a month and that is what you want. 20k people without advertising for free, that is what you want to achieve. So. That is another st strategy which has worked for me because every time I make a beat with someone else I learn something new, I reach their audience and I have a new relationship which I can use further in my life because if I want to make more beats with that person, if I want to grow more with that person, there are so many options in our life so this might be the best one and this is completely free and you will need to, you will have to Send a lot of people DMs, I'm doing that too, I'm just in the early stages of my business. I have to send 300 DMs every week, I have to do marketing, I have to try things, I fail a lot, but I, one thing is certain and that is that I will achieve everything, I will achieve all my dreams and you will achieve all your dreams too, because I believe in you. I might as well become a motivational speaker because we got this, I just know it, it is just a matter of time, everything costs time. But for now, let's produce as many songs as you can, let's work with as many artists as you can, because you will reach such a big audience. And if you are really a hustler, I don't know how many songs you can write every week, but if you, if you can do 20 songs, great songs, don't forget that, great songs, then you can reach a lot more people. You don't want people to think that you are trash, that you make shitty music. Just, even if you can make one song a week, work with another artist so you can reach his audience and he can reach your audience and you can combine that, you can combine the power and that is what you want to do. I really hope my information helped you to grow because that is what I want. I can sell 1 million beats a week and it will make me very rich but it won't make me happy because happiness is inside 
other things. It is inside working together and be happy together. I don't want to be great myself. I want to have a team around me which is having amazing success. And that is my goal in this life. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and do, do not forget to subscribe because I'm dropping three beats a day if I can, sometimes two, sometimes zero because I'm making these videos for you guys and just let me know what you think about these videos. I do not have a fancy camera, camera yet but I'm investing in myself and I hope you are doing that too. Don't forget to download some beats, link in the description. I'm working very hard on my beats and I hope you like them. We got this. Let's grow to financial freedom. Sounds by Frank.